April 1901. The war with China continues. The Chinese fleet was devastated after they clashed with the might of the U.S. fleet. But unbeknownst to the U.S. Navy, the Chinese were about to complete several next-generation surface warfare ships. Meanwhile, tensions have grown to a boiling point in the Mediterranean. Simmering with anger and frustration, ready to erupt into a destructive blaze that consumes everything in its path. The world is now at war. What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Evil One, and we just kind of got our butts handed to us a little bit. Let's talk about it. But here we had a clash against China. It says it's a victory, but I lost a lot of ships compared to what they'd lost. They lost a couple of these torpedo boats, a couple of light cruisers, but this heavy cruiser, it might as well have been a battleship. It was a big ship. Unfortunately, I didn't get it recorded because I forgot to hit the record button. Silly me. So over here on this side, you could see uh, we lost the Tuscaloosa. Well, we lost one, two, three, four, five ships. And it, it it wasn't good. So let's take a look at our ship stats here. We had to, we did end the battle. The the heavy cruiser ran away from us, and we're left with these two. And they're they're wounded. They're they're not doing so great. And as you can see here, it is uh, April 1901. We're gonna go ahead and close that. We save some crew. Yay! Transport losses. Uh, low crew ships. Uh, the below ships have low crew and cannot be sent into combat. Ooh. Okay. We'll talk about that here in just a second. These guys, they want to buy one of these ships from us. Okay, fine. Uh, fleet superiority. Uh, the United States mobilizes to launch naval invasion against China and the province of eastern China. While the United States fleet is inside the attack zone, troops are carried and land battles occur near the shore. Okay. Um, borders change. Yay. All right. Okay, so let's get into it, finally. Uh, so, it, as I said before, it is April 1901. A few months have passed, I believe, since the last episode. And the entire world has seemed to erupt into chaos. Let's take a look at it. Over here in the east, you can see what we're going up against. Right here was that, that battle. That's that one carrier remaining. And that is our nine cruisers right here. I'd like to... Uh, engage that fleet right now or that one ship right now with that so i did launch naval invasion right there china has been rebuilding ships uh, quite a bit so and so have we like again we'll we'll talk about it here in just a second in the mediterranean things have kicked off the hungarians they uh they attacked us initially here's our fleet right here of uh these couple of ships we did end up losing the little torpedo boat a stiletto class torpedo boat that was with us. Uh, I did retreat down here to Tunis to uh, rebuild and rearm. We have to get some fuel. We got some low fuel down here. And because the Hungarian Empire went to war with us, so did Germany and Italy. Let's take a look at our politics tab really quick. Ooh, we got knocked down a few pegs. Uh, before that battle, we were actually on top. Or not on top, we were in fourth position. So the British are now on, in first position. Uh, as you can see, France, uh, we have a, uh, an alliance with France. Let's go down to us. Make it easy. Here we go. So yeah, I can't believe we dropped down a position so quickly. Like I said, right before we started that battle, we were actually in the number four position. Right here where the Soviet Union is. And how they rank these, I'm actually not sure. I tried figuring it out, and I really don't know. Like, it's not tonnage, it's not the power rating, because, you know, we're higher than these other ships. Is it crew? You know, I don't, I don't think so. No, we got more crew than Spanish Empire. So I don't I don't know why we're rated like this. But anyway, let's take a look at this. So we are allies with the British and the French. Germany, we are at war. Soviet Union, I'm building a relationship with. Italy, we are at war. Uh, the Austro-Hungarians, we are neutral with now. I did get a peace treaty with them right after they declared war they asked for peace i went to one battle with them i lost my torpedo boat decimated their fleet and uh now we sued for peace or they sued us for peace and we granted it japan we are at 62 points 
uh, Spain, they don't like us, and China, we are obviously at war. We currently have 67 ships, 17 of which are battleships, 36 light cruiser, and 14 torpedo boats, and we are building two. So let's take a look at our finances really quick, because we need more crew for sure. I did have to lower this down because we were actually way negative. So let's bring this up really quick. Uh, I don't want to go too much because we are losing a lot of money. We have uh, just about 758 million. Crew pool is pretty low. We're still building our naval shipyards. And here we have the rest of it. Everything else is maxed. Let's take a look at our research. Not a lot is going on here. Uh, we're trying to get... I haven't been using the priorities. So yeah, there's that. Ship design. Now some things did change here. Uh, I did remove a couple of designs and I added a couple of designs. I also was able to fix some of these other ones. Let's see which ones was that build ship? No, not that one. So I don't remember which ones it was, but basically what I was able to do is remake the ship design as its own. And somebody left it in the comments of one of the last videos about how you can actually take uh, a refit copy the design and make it a new design altogether and then you don't have to rebuild you don't have to start with that at the the base model you can just start with that new design it's a refit ship but it's a, like a brand new design as far as the game is concerned these ones down here this this uh, this one here I'm not gonna try and pronounce these this one here and this one here those are ships that I got from the Austro-Hungarians that they gave to us as war reparations. And then of course I, oh the dagger, this is one that was, I couldn't build before I believe and I can build it now. I was able to fix that but the whole type is now obsolete, that's great. And the Dirk is our new design for our torpedo boat, let's take a look at it. So here it is, very reminiscent of the Stiletto class, just a little bit longer. So this one here displaces 761 tons at a cost of $6.2 million, so pretty expensive. Uh, low monthly cost uh, for maintenance, top speed of 26 knots, and it boasts four 4.9 inch guns and three deck torpedo tubes. So these guns here on the bow and the sides, I couldn't get the five inch gun on this ship, so I elected for a 4.9 inch gun instead. So, oh, and I got one on the stern back here as well. And then we have torpedo tubes there and two right there. So that is our current list that we have. Let's take a look at our fleet. We have some low crew and some of these. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, let's see here. Let's just, can we mothball these? Yeah, let's mothball them. See if we can get them sold. These are these Hungarian ships. There we go. So just taking a look at some of our ships here and where they are. We got a lot of stiletto class um, here. Again, I believe these are two of those uh, ships that we got from the Austro-Hungarians. We'll just go ahead and mothball them. They have a little bit of money. Maybe we can get them sold. I thought we were building a couple ships too. Oh, here we are for the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman. Ottoman. So, yeah, I didn't think we were building any more ships. I built a whole bunch of ships, went way in the debt, and we obviously have no submarines. And uh, I, it took me a while. I had to drop our crew training down just to try and break even while keeping our tech budget through the roof. And that way we could actually build up a little bit of a of a reserve so now we're down the negative 27 million per turn hopefully that goes up here so here's our naval invasion let's go take a look at it really quick we'll head back over here just make sure that we have enough shipping in the area and we do our main fleets here we have these two battleships they're heading back for refueling we have this fleet right here uh, it's just kind of sitting here waiting I guess we're gonna attack Hong Kong next and then this, these two, these ones need to go back for damage. Uh, maybe we'll send them into Keelong here. Formosa, otherwise known as Taiwan. We did successfully take it, as you can see. And that is where we stand in the world now. Again, we are at war with the Italians and the Germans. This, this fleet right here hopefully is getting refueled. Uh, here in Tunis, it is a friendly port. So hopefully we can get some fuel and we'll carry on the battle in this area. I'm not really looking to conquer any lands here 
in this region, I am looking to sink their fleets. That's about it. That's about where we have everything. Oh, I have this fleet here I was building, and they are going to head into the Mediterranean as well. Let's get them moving. We'll link up. Just head for the mouth of Gibraltar right here. Looks like we got a fleet. Where are they going? Are they coming over to see me? Nice. Four cruisers, four heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and two torpedo boats. Uh, we should mop them up. I haven't fought the Italians yet. We'll see how that goes, but it should be an interesting battle. Let's go ahead next turn. Okay, the Austro-Hungarian Empire still does not like us for just existing. It doesn't matter where we are. They don't like us. So, oh well, they're lost. Um, and so that's the, the other two. Okay, we have another meeting here. Looks like that heavy cruiser again f found somehow two more light cruisers and another torpedo boat going up against all of our uh, all of our light cruisers. Now this could end badly because this, like I say, this light cruiser right here is a powerhouse. So let's go ahead and fight it. All right, we got three divisions led by Little Rock. The enemy was spotted to the southeast. We are heading to the southeast, heading right for them. So this heavy cruiser, it has a 10 and a half inch gun on the bow and the stern uh, twin barrel. And it is absolutely deadly. Let's get be a little bit. Let's go ahead and speed up time. I mean, ship spotted to the east. Or smoke spotted to the east. We're going to change course just a little bit here. To the southeast. So that way. I figured that would cause a little bit of confusion. Selecting everybody like that. They're all going to try and reform now. That's all right. I got a feeling this fleet is actually running from me. I'm pretty sure we would have seen them by now. That was probably a mistake. Somehow, I clicked on a button and we are all in the same group now. So, hmm. And with the New Orleans is our flagship. We also have some ships with low fuel. I'm just now seeing that. That's not great. Uh, interesting. Let's form up abreast. See what that does. Uh, I think the enemy's running from us, so... Did someone just collide? Someone just collided. Looks like the fog rolled in. Want me to end the battle? We're just going to go ahead and end this battle. So I think they were running from us. Yeah, it looks like it, they, now it's saying it only fielded this heavy cruiser, which would make sense because that those other ships I destroyed in the last battle. Oh, no, this is that... Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, so now it looks like we have another big battle on our hands. Uh, well, it's not going to be big. This is going to be bad. I would like to withdraw. I cannot. Let's just auto-resolve it. Oh, we won. Oh, we sunk them. Oh, nice. Nice, we got heavy damage. Good job. 116%? Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Ottoman Empire would like to buy... That's interesting. A little black bar. Black box showing up over there. The Ottoman Empire would like to buy that... Uh, one of those heavy cruisers for 2.7. So, yep, let's do that. Perfect. All right. So, let's see. How is this going? That's my duration. We need to get more ships in here. So, right now we have a zero percent chance of success let's move i'll we'll get these ships up there there's our fleet we have these two battleships they're ready to go um actually i think i was keeping them down here because of this fleet down here in hong kong i want to protect manila but uh i think we'll be okay let's actually send them over here see if they can get into a little bit of a scrap there we go i did have ships heading for the mediterranean yep there they are try to intercept them Let's take a look at our politics tab. Nothing has really changed here. Finances, negative 30 per turn. That is not good. Research, nothing has changed. We got seven months there, four months on torpedo propulsion. Cruiser design, two months. Let's, no, nah, we'll leave it. Let's say cruiser design, we need to actually design a better heavy cruiser. And I'm gonna throw away these. I don't like those. Delete, delete, there we go. These are our ships. So we don't really have a heavy cruiser design. So I would like to actually build a heavy cruiser. And here is our fleet. We have some repairing. That is about it. All right, let's go next turn. This is interesting. Natural oil resources have been discovered in the following provinces. Province Gulf Coast of Controller United States. I'm not sure where that is. We have the Gulf of Mexico. Interesting. Okay, 
Oh, there, the, because we're in the Bering Sea, the Austro-Hungarians don't like us. Oh, France is, uh, he got replaced, his admiral got replaced. And we have another battle, but this is just trade ships. Let's go ahead and fight them. Auto-resolve, yay, we win. Sinking three, perfect. Ooh, ooh, this is a big one. Battleship and torpedo boats against a lot of our battleships and a couple of our cruisers. Let's fight this battle and find out what happens. All right, we got seven battleships and three light cruisers going up against their one battleship and two torpedo boats. Ooh, this is gonna be a bad battle for them. That's an odd sound. What's going on? Are you ramming him? Is that what that was? Dude, chill. All right, they were spotted to the southwest. That's the kind of direction we're heading. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Yeah, look at this. Boom, they're hitting each other. What fleet is that? Division one, division three. That's Virginia class. Yeah, you're kind of in the way, dude. Over here. Golly, messing up my program here. Virginia is kind of a beast, but it's really slow. Probably won't build any more of those. I do like this Idaho class battleship, though, let me tell you. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time. Oh, hello. Never mind. We have made contact with the enemy, and that is their battleship. It's one of their older ones. A couple torpedo boats there. I don't think those torpedo boats have a chance to kill. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn. Turn the battle line here. I would like these cruisers to be in front, but I'm actually going to use the battleships to screen them. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to do much right now. These Idaho-class battleships are going to take care of business. All right, got kind of our little conga line going on here. That's super cool. So I could get one hit on there. A little flooding, a little fire. They are returning fire, of course. Oh, nice. I do not want to see a torpedo. We are in their torpedo range. There it is. There's our tor that torpedo. Turn, turn hard, turn hard. I'm clicking way over here. Turn hard, slam on those brakes. Oh, we're gonna eat a torpedo. Oh no. Boom, ow. We got some flooding, a little fire. No longer control this, that ship. Like the South Carolina is our new flagship. I hate it when they just switch like that. I kind of understand why Like this ship is going down. We are losing this ship. Oh no. It is that torpedo did a number. That is not okay. Oh, that sucks. And that's why those torpedo boats are so incredibly dangerous. Sink this damn thing. Careful. Oh, I hit that sinking ship causing a little damage to the New Hampshire. Got some flooding here on the South Carolina. Was taking a couple big hits. I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh, the New Hampshire is taking some hits too. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna pull these two out. There we go, good hit, yeah, there we go. Sinking, finally. But just because that says victory, I'm not happy about it. We lost to Massachusetts. We actually got less victory points than them. That was solely Chinese victory. We just fielded more ships, that's why we won. But uh, the sinking of the Massachusetts really hurt. And they also wounded a couple of our other battleships got some damage on the Massachusetts and a lot of damage and the New Hampshire took some damage as well as the light cruiser Richmond yeah not good close save some crew yay uh, we lost three transport ships and two more down here they wanted me to build that ship sure why not British Empire okay they did that resistance is quelled perfect so we are winning the land battle looks like we've lost 1200 They've lost 3,100. They would like to buy the ween from us. Win, ween, vin. For 55% of its original value for 6.1 million. Yeah, we need the money. Okay, so convoy. Whoa. I'm not sure what to do with this information. Uh, We'll go ahead and move these two battleships there. That's the only thing I know to do. <laughs> so, and of course we have our naval invasion here. Oh, get off there. Oh, well, I guess we haven't really started it yet. Oh, we need 165,000 tons. We only have 96 in the area. That's not good. What ships are these? Bunch of battleships. Okay. So we need more shipping here. Ah, that needs to stay stay away. I need, ah, the little pop-up screens are incredibly annoying to me in this game. I wish there was a way you can turn them off. Unless I click. If I click, then yes, I want to see the screen. But if I'm just moving my mouse around, it just pops up. That is incredibly annoying to me, and I apologize if I'm, uh, sound like I'm complaining. Okay, we're gonna move a couple of these ships out. They're fueled, crewed, and ready to go. Uh, this one here, we have the Des Moines. It's got a bunch of damage. We're gonna go ahead and move these ships up here as well. So, 
Uh, let's see, we want... Oh, that one's mothballed. I have to fix that. Cancel. Complete. Set crew. Perfect. World. Ships. Oh, it's commissioning still. And these two are just in battle, so we can't do anything with that yet. Alright, let's take a look at our politics. Nothing much is, should have changed. Except for the Austro-Hungarians, they slowly are not liking us. Um, let's go ahead and improve our relationship with the uh, Russians. Where are they at? Soviet Union. Improve relations. Yep. Finances. Down to negative 20 million per turn. Research. Not much should have changed. Ship design. Nothing has changed. And fleet. We are commissioning this. Uh, we are commissioning this uh, uh, Austro-Hungarian um, ship right here. So it's, it can join us in the fight. All right. Submarines, nothing there. Let's go ahead next turn. For our presence in the North of North America, the Austro-Hungarian Empire does not like us. We got some trade ships to kill. Auto resolve. We took out two of them. And we got the new 4,500 ton light cruiser. Okay. Uh, crew saved the New Hampshire. We got one crew saved. Transport losses. There we go. We strengthen our relations with the Soviet Union. That was successful, so that's good. We are winning this fight. Okay. They would like to buy this cruiser from us for 53% for 6.8 million. That's perfect. All right, so now this convoy has moved again. Who is that? Oh, it's the Austro-Hungarians. They're coming up to say hello, huh? So we're actually going to move this fleet up to here. Now we can move these ships as well. We'll move that one. These two are in battle still. Move and let's check on this invasion. Estimated duration is 0 out of 10 turns. Uh, we still don't have enough there. We are several hundred tons short. Let's see what else can we do. Hopefully, maybe when these get up there, I don't think they're, it's going to be enough. Let's look over here. See what kind of ships we got over here. We got the Wichita. We'll send it over. Perfect. Let's see what else we got over here. San Francisco. We got the St. Paul. We'll stay there. San Diego. The Worcester. We'll leave it there. We got down here Balboa. We got the Belknap. Kind of want to leave it there just because that's the Panama Canal. Then we got the Arkansas. Well, let's send the Belknap. Move ships. There we go. Looks like we missed that fleet. That's great. We have to turn around. Move this fleet here. Should be refueled and ready to go by now. I can click on them. There we go. No, so they are not getting fuel. Uh oh. There are. They are our. Oh, they have no port capacity? How am I... Uh, okay. I mean, it's a French colony. It's a French port. You would think that I'd be able to refuel at a friendly port. That's not good. Let me try if I come up here to this area. I need fuel. And I'm not exactly sure how to get fuel at a, a port that's not mine. There's a, Jap or a German fleet. Take a look at our politics here. Again, we're pretty far down the list. Oh, we are very close to becoming friends with the Russians again. I cannot improve my relationship with them. Let's go find Japan. And we'll improve with them. Improve with them. Losing 22.8 million per turn. Not great. Research. Should be getting pretty close on a few things here. Got torpedo tubes. Uh, torpedo propulsion. Uh, big guns. That looks about it. Boilers, I guess, coming along. Ship design, nothing has changed. And fleet. Uh, it shows that we are in battle with this dagger class. And there was another one that was in battle as well. Yeah, this one right here. Minneapolis. I haven't seen that pop up yet, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and I want to build a heavy cruiser. We're going to go new design. Hopefully we can do this. I've got an armored cruiser, semi-armored cruiser, light cruiser. Let's do an armored cruiser. We're going to bump up its displacement all the way. Can we go into the red? No. All right. There we go. I've got, got our displacement as about as big as it can possibly go. Yeah. Okay. Let's put in a main tower. we got a small cage mast. Let's see what our stats are here. Again, I am looking for the um, the base accuracy is plus 2 and long range ac accuracy is 24. So that's plus 2 and 23. And But long range accuracy is only 4. So these cage ones are a little bit better at long range. So yeah, let's do that. See what it looks like. Plop that on there. We'll get a secondary tower. Okay, so this is where I struggle, it seems like. Um, actually, 
Hold on, before we build this, let's go back here. We'll go to exit without saving. Because I'm pretty sure I just saw that boilers were going to be coming online here real soon. Go to research. Yeah, boilers going to be here real soon. So we're going to use a priority on this. There we go. One month. Done. And hull construction. Uh, improving stiffening, which decreases hull weight and ship construction time with ship flaws. Ooh, Mark II 12 inch guns. That may be fun to put on a cruiser. Okay, we're going to do put a priority in that one as well and put a priority in that one. So what I'm looking at here with tor torpedo tubes, this launcher is a Mark II launcher and I'm hoping to be able to put that on our new design. The torpedo propulsion is three bladed contra rotating propellers. Uh, it's going to increase our torpedo range and our speed. So if I can shoot my torpedoes a little bit sooner than they can, Maybe I can shoot them and get away. And of course, the boilers uh, are just great for the the funnel capacity. But it, as you can see here, it's going to add a lot more smoke interference, a lot more cost, a little bit more weight, and uh, a little bit more vibrations. So let's just wait to do that ship design, and we'll do it on the next turn or two. So let's go into August. All right. So because we're in Western North America, the Austro-Hungarians don't like us. Close. Soviet Union, they want to do an um, alliance with us for $246 million. That's not happening. So we're going to have to say that we understand the problems that they're having, but we can't do it. It's going to drop our relations with the Soviet Union down 30 points. Oh, and here we have another clash against these heavy cruisers. Well... You know what? I think that's a good place to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to fight this battle. And uh, hopefully we win. I think today was kind of a humbling uh, episode. You know, We've been having a lot of success. And today we kind of got our butts handed to us. So it is what it is. We can't win them all. Yeah, I think I think we'll be okay though. I think we'll be okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button down below too. And uh, head on over to the Discord. Join the conversation over there. We're posting a lot of stuff over there. Uh, just random uh, stuff. We also set up some channels for this game and the other games that we're playing. So if you're interested in sharing your screenshots or your thoughts, please head on over there. Or leave them in the comments below. Below you can't put uh, screenshots in the comments. But if you want to show me something or talk with me kind of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, head on over to Discord. Link in the description below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.